Hello everyone, my name is William Purnell and I was a senior counselor uh, this summer at Camp St. Martin. Uh, today I'm going over day eight of the St. Martin of Tours Novena, which is attempting to sway a holy man. Now, I think throughout this passage we can really uh, extrapolate a few uh, important details, especially towards uh, God's forgiveness for us. Um, I think St. Martin was a really good um, advocate and a strong, a strong advocate of, of God's incredible power and forgiveness. Um, we see the, the struggle and the battle that, um, and the scrutiny that uh, St. Martin was presented with um, when uh, forgiving those who had lost their baptism, as the, as the scripture says. Um, but I think we can really just um, take a, a broader view on that and what that means, and that um, may not be so literal, but could be uh, represented in our lives as well, and um, what God can forgive us for, and God's love is just never ending, right? So I definitely found that um, we can take out what confession means to us and how we can always ask God for forgiveness, um, kind of no matter the circumstance. A really powerful part of this passage I really found was the end when Camp, when uh, St. Martin, uh, he, he almost yelled this um, in opposition to all those saying, oh no, like these sins, are you, you're a terrible person. He says, if thou thyself, wretched being, would but deceased from attacking mankind and even at this period when the day of judgment is at hand would only repent of your deeds i with the true confidence in the lord would promise you the mercy of christ i think that's pretty powerful um it really shows that saint martin is so so confident of the lord's forgiveness and I think he displays that throughout. He's so confident that he knows that no matter what the situation, and God is always going to be there and always going to forgive you. If you, if you truly want the forgiveness, you will become a child of God. And we can kind of see how the, the presence of the devil is in our lives, not only in the passage, I think it's a little bit more um, literal, but we can see that even our own thoughts. Maybe we're, we think we're, oh, this is, we're too afraid or too ashamed to, to go to confession or maybe we're we're scared that what people might think of us or how that's going to be but i think it's really important that what we can take out of this is that nothing is too big or nothing is too bad or nothing we can do if we really are really are sorry and we repent we can have that forgiveness um, that and that fullness from god so that was some of my thoughts on the passage here today but i hope uh and i'd love to hear what uh, you think as well so have a great day and god bless Thank you for joining us in today's Novena Prayer and Reflection. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, our patron saints, St. Martin of Tours, and all the saints of God, may the Almighty God bless you and protect you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.